I definitely think that when tourists come down, they can look at their conditions and they can look deceivingly safe. Unfortunately, with the tide, all our rips start to flare up. There's people like five feet from the shore and they're nearly drowning. They're not far out, but they're just there in, uh, in a bit of strife. Dunstan and I get the call to investigate two swimmers down the south end. You could see these two swimmers were in a lot of distress. That rip just had complete control of them and they were just getting taken out to sea. Guys, step to the side. Nicola attempted to give them direction and quickly surmised that it was pointless. Go, Danny, go. They're both in. They were completely hysterical yet, but they were definitely in the realms of quite a bad panic. They're trying to swim against it and they're going backwards. They were doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk in the ocean, going backwards like this. When we got them onto the board and they kind of caught their breath, they almost erupted into a laughter. And, and I think for a lot of people, it's that embarrassment. Also, I think she was somewhat losing her swimmer top. So I think she was having a little giggle to herself as she was trying to keep her modesty. As soon as we got them into the beach, like, oh, thanks a million, thanks a million. It did not take long to realise that Declan and Kelly were Irish. They just dragged us out too far. I couldn't swim anymore and I couldn't breathe. Just kept going under. I thought I was going to die. The Irish definitely have an uncanny ability to find any rip on the beach. It's hot would have been like Coogee and it would have been all right, but it's not. I've got to love the Irish. My dad's Irish. My whole family's Irish, so... The sharks don't get you the waves, Will. 